Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Lisa. Welcome back to the House of Jane. Today I have the Premium Arts -a Box. This box is the second one I'm unboxing on my channel, and it is such a joy to go through the contents and to really get this box in the mail because. I am supporting small Israeli businesses and artists and that is very important to me. If you've been to my channel before, you know I do some art, I do some crafting, I do some tutorials and I do unboxings and I love to unbox businesses that are small businesses. That is my niche. So here it is. This is the Golan Heights box. This is the premium Arts -a Box. Arts -a Box is a curated box. All the products are made in Israel by artisans and small businesses. If you're a person of spiritual faith, you're gonna love this box. If you're a person that loves culture and history and just products from other countries, you're gonna love this box. So there are two subscription plans. There's one for $74.99 and one for $94.99. These are quarterly boxes that you receive every three months. I have a code called Jane20. I'll list it right here and I'll put it in the description box below, which will get you 25% off your first Artsa box. And that code is better than what Artsa is offering. They offer 20%, but Jane 5 will get you 25% off, which is fabulous. You can um, buy an annual subscription, and if you buy an annual subscription, you're gonna get a, an additional box free. So when you go to the Artsa website, you'll even see the little box, annual subscription, click here, and you're gonna get a free box, an additional box. So let's go ahead and open up this beauty. Like I said, this is from the Golan Heights. And this is what everything looks like when you get it. Their packaging and their printed materials are made on the best material. Really nice, thick cardstock. And it's, this is just a welcome card to the Golan Heights. It says, we hope that your Golan box finds you and your families well at this wonderful time of spring. So in the Golan Heights, it's starting to warm up. Spring is um, upon them and you know, they're getting flowers and you know, the birds are chirping and think the air has that crisp, clean smell like it gets here in Virginia. So along with this beautiful introduction card with beautiful pictures of the Golan Heights. We have some other cards. i get it open. I don't want to rip it. There's a recipe for sumac chicken roast. And then there are um, postcards about different places in the Golan Heights. This is the Gamla Fortress. Mount Hermon. And then there's a card about each item that's in our Golden Heights box. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Comes with pretty paper. And I'm gonna say, this is what makes the box the premium. I'm gonna save that to the end of the video because it's pretty special. Let's just get into the first item here. And this is chocolate. It's new chocolate mania. It is white chocolate squares with raw cocoa nibs. And it's 1.76 ounces of chocolate. And yeah, that's about it. It's by De Carina, chocolatiers of three generations in the Golan Heights. So I'm interested in trying this white chocolate. I am a white chocolate fanatic. I'm a chocolate fanatic to begin with. And um, I like to put my chocolate in the refrigerator for a little while, just to get a little cold and crisp. So that's the first item you're gonna get. 
Then we have a glass candle. And this is a four ounce candle. It's scented soy wax. It's made in the Golden Heights. It's by a brand, it's called Golden Dew. And the brand is Shinana, Shinanda Body and Soul. Soy candles are the best for you to burn. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. I'm not really sure what the smell is. Huh. What is that? It does smell like honeydew. Bring the scent of the Golden Springs in full bloom to your home. It does smell like honeydew. I really wish you can smell that, but I do love soy candles. They burn nice and clean, and I feel good about breathing in the air when they're burning around me. Then we have something called Rose Burak, which is sumac. Crushed sumac. I have personally never cooked with sumac before. This is 3.1 ounces of crushed sumac. And there is an accompanying recipe card. This is a rich and exotic Middle Eastern spice. So the card that we got was for this chicken, a chicken roast where you can use the sumac in it. And it really, it only call, calls for one and a half tablespoons of sumac. So there you go, you're gonna get sumac. I'm sure we can Google some more recipes for this but it's sourced from their ancient origins. Very good. Then we have some shalva tea. This is Israel Israeli herbal infusions. There's 20 lemon glass rose and lemon verbona teas in here. I am a huge tea drinker. If you didn't know that, drink tea and the coffees every single day. I love my tea. And this will be no exception. This is a really beautiful box. Let's just see what the tea looks like. Wow, as soon as I opened this, I got an infusion of tea. So there's 20 individual tea bags. So that's convenient. You don't have to use a little, you know, teapot or anything. And let me see if it says something about the tea. This is Golan Heights inspired herbal tea, sure to warm up your wintry mornings. Each tea was made with the help of young adults with physical disabilities, which are helping, which you are helping to support. So purchasing this tea helps the people that make it. And it's put together by adults, young adults with some physical disabilities. Beautiful packaging too. This is gonna go in my next junk journal. It's gorgeous. Okay, what else we got? We got a beautiful wooden box. This is a Hebrew alphabet wooden puzzle. So this is like one of those games you would put on the tabletop in your you know, den or living room. Let's check it out. My kids learned Hebrew years ago in Hebrew school. They certainly know more than their mother. <laughs> I um, was just raised a little bit more spiritual than religious in my family. In my family, actually, religion went to my brother. When it came to me and my sister, we didn't really get much religious training. So here's the box. And I'm just trying to figure out how to open this without spilling all the contents. Okay, there we go. Beautiful wooden box, by the way. And this is called Gaia's... Tan, tangram. This is um, this is a special tangram. Came with two identical sets of four wooden pieces and a deck of cards. So it's a game. So there are all the pieces. I'm assuming my game ship is there's two, four, six, eight. There's six, eight. Oh, I see what you do. So they give you different puzzles and maybe you time yourself on putting together um, these shapes using the pieces provided. 
Well, I like that because that really like exercises your brain and anything I can do to exercise my brain, <laughs> I appreciate. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a lover of Sudoku puzzles and I am also a lover of solitaire games. Big Microsoft solitaire player. I've often thought about starting another channel, but that is a just devoted to solitaire because I'm addicted to solitaire. So I'm a games person. I like mind games. So these look like there's 29 different cards. Well, it says cards eight to 29. Well, I'll have to get get a little bit more educated on it. But the basic gist is to use these cards and use the pieces to make these shapes. And I'm sure it's a timing thing and you do it with teams and stuff like that. So that is really cool. I like that. You can uh, play this with, it can be a single player game or compete between two players to see who can solve the card first. Very cool. I like this. This is really a nice type of coffee table top game. Really cool. Then the last thing in this box that you would get in the regular box, not the um, premium one, is they gave us a Wise Virgin's Parable. It's a clay oil lamp and filler set. Jesus period replica pottery educational and fully functional. So we got some replication of pottery and that's what the top of it looks like. This is like a talks about the Herodian oil lamp and fill, filler. So this is all about it. This is like Judaica gifts. And I, I'm just going to open this and show you what it looks like because, wow, this looks like original, <laughs> original pottery from BC times. Wow. I am so glad this came in one piece. It's very interesting looking. And it does come with some rope. Not even, this is not string. This is more like rope that I'm assuming you would put it in here and burn either with olive. I'm pretty sure you burn this with olive oil. You would fill it with olive oil and burn it. Very cool looking. If, if anything, this is such a really different kind of statement piece for your home. And it is definitely clay. I have some clay on my hands. So that is wonderful. Let's see if they talk, see this. Um, this is an ancient oil lamp and job replica, replicas from the time of Jesus discovered in the caves of the Golan Heights. Seriously, very cool. So that is your regular box. Now, if you choose to get the premium box, the, the reason why the premium box is $20 more, and I think it's worth every penny, if you should look at my video I did in December and you'll see why, is you get a piece of artwork. So this is the piece of artwork I got. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Is this gorgeous? Look at that. It says Emmanuel on the back. This is gorgeous. The artist is Yara Emmanuel. He lives in Jerusalem. And his art is based upon a fusion of traditional motifs and ancient Jewish manuscripts with modern and oriental art. Vivid and harmonious colors, as well as a mixture of the old and the new, characterize Emmanuel's work, which he designs and crafts in his Jerusalem studio. 
This is so cool. This is this is the artist. And this pamphlet is written in English as well as Hebrew. And it even gives directions to his art studio in Jerusalem. So this is really beautiful. I suppose you can just use this as a statement piece on a shelf, but I can also like maybe, this would look nice surrounded by plants or you can even hang your jewelry from it. You can use it as a little jewelry tree if you wanted to, or just put it on a windowsill. It's just gorgeous all by itself. So that's what you're gonna get in your premium art box. And um, yeah, it just says, we hope this magnificent piece brings color and joy into your home. This is hand painted as well, and it's made of metal. Hear that? Gorgeous. And that's why I just love this premium box because of all the beautiful artwork. Let's do a quick recap. We got these two pieces which you can actually use with olive oil, probably extra virgin olive oil and burn it. Just be careful though. I'm gonna figure out a little bit more about this before I burn it or not. We got this tabletop puzzle set with the cards. It's a tabletop game. I'm gonna put it together nicely, but it, it would fit together nicely like that, which I will assemble after I finish this video. We got the white chocolate, the herbal tea bags, this beautiful honeydew candle, the soy candle, four ounces, and the sumac spice. And of course, this beauty. And of course, another thing I wanna point out is just the literature and the postcards and the photography in this box is absolutely stunning. You can use a lot of these for artwork in your home if you wanted to, or you even mail them as postcards to your friends and stuff like that. So if you're interested in the box, let me know in the comments below and Jane25 will get you 25% off your first box. And I just wanted to point out too that here are cards about the artisans who participated in this month's box. So here's the chocolatier. This is about Karina, and it tells you her story on the background of the card, the back of the card. And then the creator of the tea is David Ross. And it tells you about David on the back of the card. And then this is for the game we received. And it tells you about Eli and Galit story is on the back of the card. And then they talk about Meredith and she brought us the spices and the recipe. So that is also, you know, very informative in the box as well. Isn't that gorgeous? So guys, I hope you uh, like the video and um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please keep your prayers and thoughts for the people of Ukraine. I know Israel has taken in, has already taken in many uh, refugees from Ukraine in Israel so they can have a life. And I will also list below some charities I've been donating to in support of refugees and the crisis in Ukraine to help people out there. If you're interested in donating, it's totally up to you. It's just, you know, it's, I, I've mentioned this in some other videos, it's just really weighing heavily on me. Um, my background is Ukrainian and Russian and Polish, and um, that's where my ancestors are from, so it's just really kind of hitting me right in the gut. I will see you all in the next video, and thank you Artsa Box for sending me this beautiful box for my review. I really appreciate it. Take care all, and have a great day.